it's wrapping so yeah welcome back just a while ago i have <laughs> i'm with um world english for a lecture about speaking so now um we have another episode of i um podcast i offend you podcast and it's a very special team right now because um october is uh, nearly ended um so our topic is gonna be halloween <laughs> who's excited for halloween um uh, by the way monday and to all our viewers um to our zoom participants um i don't think it's um nate um is able to come tonight um because i don't know what's the reason so yeah i hope you're a fine date so Mandy, yeah how are you and for our special guest we would like to welcome chaser chaser how are you come on in hi good evening i'm good sir how are you yeah very fine how about you mandy i'm, I'm good too thank you <laughs> <laughs> so yeah for those who are watching i'm gonna share the screen so this is our topic today so yeah it's spooky night um, <laughs> what's your idea about spooky night i don't know why they call it spooky hmm. uh, i'll let chaser go first do you chaser. like do you like spooky things yes somehow i like spooky things well it makes me feel excited knowing that something will make you will make me feel a little bit thrilled so that's that's the concept of spooky night for me oh uh, so you're a thrill seeker <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about like spooky movies in general i absolutely like it it makes me uh, makes my blood pump and um, <laughs> oh, yeah. everything is exciting there's no dull moment and sometimes um and sometimes if i watch it with my friends it's it gets more exciting because along with those um along with those um screams and it's kind of funny that um you're screaming with your friends with those um horrible horrible scenes Okay, I have to know yes. if 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 we were to go to the movies together and go see like a horror movie or a scary movie. I know how I would act. Are you the kind of person who yells at the screen and says, "Don't do that. <laughs> Don't go in there." <laughs> or are you quiet and you just stay calm on the outside? I'm the type of person who's quiet, quite quiet, but um okay. I do laugh with my friends. I have a I have this friend who always screams even if it's not um if it's not scary and we just laugh all together so At i just support them <laughs> yes yes <laughs> that's me i'm that friend <laughs> so yeah speaking of you mandy how about you Spooky how do night. i react at the movies yeah. okay okay someone's gonna have to call me at 2 a.m this morning when i have nightmares because of talking about this but i'll go ahead um there was an incident where um, I, I went to the movies. I got invited to the movies with some, some girlfriends, some girls. And I said, okay, fine. And they said what the movie was called. And I do not name the movie. It's like, you know, how Voldemort is the name we do not speak. I do not speak this movie's name, but I'll just let you know it goes on your finger. Um, so if you know what piece of jewelry goes around your finger, then you know the movie name. And I watched the movie behind my hands for almost two hours. I felt sick to my stomach. <laughs> I thought I was going to throw up. And for months afterwards, I could not um, sleep very well at night. <laughs> so for me, I prefer, so that's called like a horror movie. I prefer ones that are more like zombie kind of movies. Like those don't bother me. But if you have like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre or, you know, The Ring or things like that, that could really happen. It scares the living daylights out of me. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, when I hear spooky, I think about Scooby-Doo. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's, Sco I don't know. that's, that's spooky funny. <laughs> yeah, because maybe it sounds like, yeah. <laughs> have you all ever watched the the scream um, series of uh, movies um well actually we'll discuss about that because i prepared some questions oh okay cool okay so let's go to our next slide okay where is my next slide <laughs> okay why is that working here okay do you have any halloween plans do you Hello? want 
Chaser yeah. to go first? Yeah, you can. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, can, sorry, I got I lost her. I lost her voice. What is no it problem. again, please? Um, what's your plan? Do you have any plans for Halloween? Well, to be honest, I don't have plan for for this coming Halloween. I think that ends in a weekday, so I um probably I'll be working by that time. But um, I might be watching horror movies in celebration for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I think great. a lot of the TV um channels or streaming services, like the whole month of October, they re uh. They re, they re, they put out their horror movies again, right? Um, like so that people can watch them again. Yeah, um, like with um, back in the Philippines, um, if it's a Halloween, it's actually celebrated not the um, December thirty one night or the eve, but we're celebrating it on November one. If, I'm not sure if other people would do that as well. Yeah, in Mexico, the Day yeah. of the Dead. <laughs> yeah, but actually we celebrate like the All Souls days for that when we rem uh, we try uh, we will remember or you know, at least um, reminisce our you know loved ones who already passed. Oh, how yeah. about how about you? What's your what's in the US? In the US it's really commercialized right now. So I mean it's become it's evolved over the years, I guess. So right now, what most people do and what we, what, what my girls and I plan on doing is dressing up in costumes. And we go around the neighborhood and just knock on doors and collect lots and lots of candy. Um, and then we kind yeah. of look at people's Halloween decorations as well. And we also, on top of that, we hand, we give out candy as well. Mm -hmm. So we don't just take it, but we give it out. So um, that's yeah. cool. one of my neighbors said mm -hmm. that she said, oh, do you think it'd be okay if we made like jello shots or served beer and alcohol? I was like, well, you can do whatever you <laughs> want to do. Just don't give it to children. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, some people like to make it a big, they'll have tricks, they'll have treats for kids and then they'll have like treats for adults too that come. <laughs> cool. Um, how about you, Chaser? Yeah, for me, um, yes, just like in the Philippines, we celebrate it in the 1st of November. And um, what we usually do is we go to the cemetery in commemoration for the um, for the for our loved ones who had passed away and we offer prayers light candles and buy flowers um to to show that we still remember them that we uh, that we still remember them. Yeah. For me, I think I don't have any plans for Halloween because I'm duty on that day. I have work. So, ah. <laughs> you know, every celebration saying just only duty, but at least you will get. Um, but although this is not a holiday here in the UAE, because I'm same with um, Chaser. She's also in the UAE. Okay. So, yeah, nothing, no plans. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, do, I am a little, I, I know I can't control the calendar, but I'm a little disappointed that it's on a Sunday night. So means... we have to take the kids out on Sunday night oh. and then I have to have them ready for school and not on a sugar high the next day. <laughs> but yeah, it's Sunday. So you're also the, um, day off on that day. Because yeah, it's yeah. And oh. the day before is um, homecoming for the high school nearby oh. so uh, there's a homecoming dance on saturday and then halloween on sunday so it's a busy weekend wow <laughs> um yeah so do you think mandy um which day of the week um halloween um it's better to fall like is it friday we think because friday you know it's more um, spooky than other day <laughs> I think I think at least in this in this neighborhood parents were asking oh does anyone want to agree to move halloween to saturday like just to celebrate it on the 30th instead. And other people were like, heck no, no, we're not moving Halloween. But where my dad lives in Pennsylvania, their neighborhood, if Halloween comes on a Sunday, they always move it. You know, if Halloween comes on a weekday, they always move it to a Saturday night, no matter what, because they want the kids to be refreshed for school on Monday. So just personal choice. Okay, I think if I could add one of the, you know, member with us tonight, 
as a replacement of uh, Nate. Um, can I call, um, should we bring, um, sorry, name I forgot, Gladys. Gladys, can you join us? Are you still here in the Zoom? Hi, yes. Yeah, so you can turn Do on I... your... Ah, your... Okay, just for a moment. Yeah. Give me yeah. a moment. Sure, okay. you can come back when you're ready. So yeah, let's move on to our next topic. Okay, so I don't know why my my screen's so, not working. Yeah. My question <laughs> for you all is when you do celebrate All Saints Day or All Souls Days or Dia de los Muertos, do you dress up at all at all in costumes or no? Mm. In the Philippines, actually, no. But um, nowadays, they are celebrating it, especially kids mm -hmm. in the school. I don't know because they live in in the city. I don't mm -hmm. know with other places in the Philippines. Uh, how about you, Chaser? Yes, I agree with Mr. Jeffrey that um, we don't wear special costumes for the Halloween. However, now these days, the kids are celebrating trick or treat. So. As parents, we're obliged to like <laughs> buy costumes to make them feel that it's really Halloween and they're doing the trick or treat. <laughs> so are you ready, Gladys? Yeah. Sorry, Mandy. Yeah. Okay. So, and this is our next slide. Um, if you're familiar with this, I'm not sure, but of course you do know this one. <laughs> what is this? A pumpkin. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's a pumpkin. Yeah, we do. We don't have that in the Philippines. But do you have any kind of vegetable in the pumpkin or gourd family? Yeah, squash. A squash. But, okay. But I think that's is small, and we are not wasting food in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, is that an yeah. issue? Is that an issue in the U.S.? Like, yeah. You know, um, I know that some people will take the um the insides of the jack o' lantern, the pulp, and the seeds, and they will use it. So they'll take the pulp to make you know pumpkin pie or pumpkin cookies, pumpkin bread, and the seeds are really good if you roast them. Yeah. Um, like put them in the oven. They're actually really tasty. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, uh, for us in the Philippines, um way back when I was a kid. We have lantern, but it's not um, made of squash or pumpkin. Because I grew up, you know, <laughs> I'm not a rich, um, you know, kid. So we use like an empty can and then we put, um, it's unopened, we make it as, uh, I will show you, it's hard to explain. For example, this is the Is can. it like a tin can? Tin can. And you yeah. punch holes in it? Yeah. And yep. And then we put candle inside and then yeah, there's a wire. You, you do that also there. How about you, Chaser? Have you yes. tried that? <laughs> yes, sir, definitely. When um, also in my childhood years, we use those thin cans. It's a, a it's an it's a used can of uh, evaporated milk. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> or a tin can. Yeah, they're made out tin of tin. Can. Yes, yes, and we lit it with candle inside this. But um, my brother or or my father used to carve for, first with face with the eyes and nose and mouth just to make look like a a monster or a, a pumpkin <laughs> oh, i didn't cool. know that i didn't know that because i put my the initial of my name it's letter j wow so i didn't know <laughs> so that it was yours <laughs> no one else would touch it <laughs> no i didn't know that um it, it needs to be scary i just use it as a torch or a flashlight because we try to go in a dark place and then you use that lantern together with your friends. Yeah. I Some people, um, there is, there is a, like the night before Halloween is sometimes called mischief night. So it's on the 30th and sometimes kids will misbehave and they go around and smash people's jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I think that's not a cool idea. It's not cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not cool. So yeah. I, mean, I haven't seen it happen in a long time. So I think maybe they don't do it. But um, it's also like it's it's not besides being a waste of food, it doesn't last very long, it, especially in Florida. Can you like it's hot, you know, it, it's going to start to 
wither and just turn to mush or it will attract lizards and they'll eat it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, can we bring, um, Gladys, are you ready? Are you with us now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you oh. can jump in, Gladys. Hello. Hi, Gladys, where are you Hello. right now? I'm in the Philippines right yeah. now. Okay, so do you have an experience with, you know, Halloween lantern? Actually, it's not quite popular in the Philippines. We have the useful one only. And I, when I jump into this conversation, I remember pumpkins as a kind of um, meal. <laughs> so that's one thing that will, um, that will come up to my mind. But uh, in the practice of um, Halloween, I think it's not too popular in our country. And Mandy, do you also, can you make also soup from pumpkins? Oh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, pumpkin soup. Yeah, I mean, I, I can. I don't know if other people like it. I think it tastes good. Yeah, does it same taste with squash? Because they, they are the same family. Mm, maybe. I do know that, like, people, when, when Starbucks makes pumpkin spice lattes, people are like, oh, it's fall. It's finally fall because pumpkin spice lattes are yeah. super popular. Yeah, it's speaking of um, pumpkin Starbucks coffee, it's actually also offered here in the UAE. Really? So, so they're trying to yeah. rope you into our customs too. <laughs> it's, <very laughs> it's a good Western. marketing technique. <laughs> and then but they I, sell the pumpkin bread, the pumpkin muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really hard to curb um, a a jack-o'-lantern because for you know the tin can lantern we just use um hammer and nail <laughs> yeah so it just depends on i think i think it depends on your uh level of confidence in my opinion also you need to be careful um but they do also sell pumpkin carving kits that you can buy at like the dollar store or at you know the the, the grocery store and they have like a serrated edge so i mean when I used to teach kindergarten, pumpkins were part of the curriculum and we would teach, you know, to, to cut out the top, open it, and then we would have the kids stick their hands in and pull out all of the pulp and they hated mm. it. And then we would count how many seeds there were. And then you have to kind of thin the inside of it or else you'll never mm. be able to get through to carve the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Have you guys ever seen yeah. on this picture, there's some traditional jack-o'-lantern faces and then there's some other ones. Have you Googled like pumpkin carving contest? There are some amazing. Uh, like Van Gogh's Starry Night is yeah. on a pumpkin. Um, I haven't hmm. seen it. But there's some really amazing pumpkins out what? there. I saw on video, like, you know, in television before, mm -hmm. um, there is a pumpkin squashing in the field. <laughs> you know what that. a waste. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that. I have heard of, yeah, people do lots of strange things with pumpkins. <laughs> I would like to ask to Chaser and Gladys, Gladys, um, since you're planning to go to the U.S., um, are you planning to do it as well, to carve? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious because most of them, my TV series that I have watched, I, I've always seen this one. So I'm, I, especially it's not famous in our country. So I think I this was my in my bucket list. I think so. <laughs> I want to try this one because we don't have this practice in the Philippines. Uh, for Chaser, Chaser, um, if, you're a, um, if you have a chance to carve, what kind of design do you want to do? <laughs> yes. Plan. Yes, of course. If I um, if I could uh, if I if I would be given a pumpkin to curve, then I would definitely be designing a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if uh, it seems to be challenging, um, and I'm very mm -hmm. fond of um, of dragon. So like like you have to do a little bit of um, of carving, a small carving, and then a little, you have to like, um, you have to be meticulous in carving. So it would be a little bit, it would be kind of challenging for me. Yeah. Mandy, is there any technique or easiest way to curve or safe, safe way? <laughs> yeah, um, so there's lots of templates that you can find online too, where you kind of can either print it or you can draw right on the pumpkin because if you draw on the pumpkin it it can be wiped off pretty easily 
you know, like with a marker or so just a, a pen. <laughs> yeah. And then you, you, you would carve your design or you draw your design first, in, in my opinion. And then you can just, um, the technique that I do is uh, how you mentioned using a nail and a hammer. You could essentially do that, but with just a really small, a very thin nail. And if you kind of make it a lot of dots, like, have you ever seen a dot to dot drawing? Yeah. If you Connect make all those dots. tiny little dots, then <laughs> you're going to be able to just pop it out or pop it forward. If you pop it in towards the pumpkin because it's curved in, that's harder. So you can always stick your hand in and pop it outward and then it will oh. just come out. <laughs> So yeah, Actually, but I, wanted, I wanted to ask something about that. That's one thing I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask if if you try to shape it, are you going to push it out or to push it in? So I think yeah, either you can try either way, but you're gonna have a hard time pushing in because you're pushing into a smaller space <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> because it okay. curves in. Um, but what I had mentioned before is if you um, so when you initially open the pumpkin, it's pretty thick like inside mm -hmm. these, these kinds of pumpkins are thick. So you can scrape like with a spoon or something and kind of pull more and thin the, the shell. So you can get mm -hmm. it a little bit thinner and then it's easier to cut. So, yeah. I would say don't buy into the gimmick of getting the pumpkin carving kit. Like you don't need it. All you really need is what Jeff said, a hammer and a thin nail. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just all Classic. the same technique. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah don't buy, because that pumpkin carving kit that they're going to sell you will break and then you're going to have to buy another one next year <laughs> so now guys you know it <laughs> okay so you can also put um candle inside or nowadays of course you, maybe you can use led light yeah i can um they have those at the dollar store too i'll show you one i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> okay so okay um Gladys how about yes. you what kind of design maybe you are planning to well actually as they were telling about that one as Ch chaser chaser is telling me about uh telling us about that I I kind of think about something that happened with the squid game I squid no, game. the easier one <laughs> yeah I think I'm I will more go for more the easier one I'm not so artistic myself like oh, there. like so, the kid you can just, game. Ah, it's ah. it's not hot <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah it's artificial light it's yeah artificial light. it's easier yeah. and you can turn it off and it's good if you have small safer. kids because yeah it's safer <laughs> yeah. yeah i i yeah i can um, i can still remember mandy when i was a kid i'm playing candle because halloween or you know november one for us we are lighting a mm -hmm. candle outside the door of our house. So mm -hmm. kids, we are playing the candle. I think it's actually, and some people might disagree with me. I think it's a good thing to teach kids how to deal with candles early rather mm -hmm. than not teaching them how, because then they're going to, mm -hmm. you know, hurt themselves. If you give them an experience I when they're younger, how to yeah. safely use candles, I, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> mm, I think it's a different thing. Unless they become a pyro, tech, a pyro. Well, actually, we're doing that. Um, how about you, Chaser? Do you have an experience um, playing candle? Yes, indeed. I remember when we, we, we go to the cemetery and we lit candles some um, for um at the grave. Um, so once it had totally melted, and, and while it is still soft, we form it into bowl. We gather all those melted. Uh, candles and we form it into balls. So we will have a competition with my cousins who has the greatest or the largest ball of candles. So, so you yeah, I use think the that, wax? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. So the, um, they are waiting for the candle to melt. <laughs> and even it's yes. not yet melting. <laughs> Yeah, um, and we, sometimes we even shift to different grave um, graves or tomb just exactly. to collect those melted candles. And if you're naughty, even if it's not yet melted, you will steal the candle. Yes. The whole candle. Yeah. I'm, I'm guilty of it. Are you one of those kids who will like put your finger over the flame and be like, oh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, I guess I guess every child had tried that to, to test if it really hurts or not. 
Yeah, it's like a feat of strength. How long can you hold it over? <laughs> oh, she's only on fire a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Um, and also, uh, um, Gladys, do you have any experience playing the candle? Uh, because, I think, it, yeah. Go. I think I, I, I can add the chasers. I think one of the, because we are living in the outskirts of the city. So I, me and my cousin usually go to this local cemetery and uh, I, I'm one of the guilty uh, child that has to take away one's candles, when, even though it's not yet melting totally. And then I, we will get these different colors. And I don't know, it's, it's just fun. It's just fun to be kids. And I think, uh, I think that's one of the most memorable experience with me uh, and with my, with my cousins. Me, um, guys, I have a very dangerous or unsafe experience with candles. <laughs> um, we call it, um, you know, our layman's term that time um, as an experiment because we're going to melt, um, you know, the cup of the, what do you call that? The wick? The, cup of the, uh, the lip of the soft drinks in the bottle soft means where you can open it. Oh, oh, the tab? Yeah, the crown. Yeah, the crown. Okay. And then you'll put stick and candle and melt it until the fire gets on the top of the, like like a pot oh. or like a chef, you know, when they're cooking and then they put um, mm -hmm. oil or wine on that um, pan and then let it um, fire. And then you will add water, you will sprinkle it and then it will explode the fire. <laughs> go big so that's I never tried that <laughs> yeah. the silly things we do <laughs> yeah I don't know we call it but it's fun. not really <laughs> did you burn any of your hair <laughs> um only my hand only your hand oh. <laughs> and that's dangerous <laughs> the, the old? more the more candle the more explosive the it was just was last week high. when he did it chaser mm. he did it last week no, no. <laughs> yeah i was going to ask how old was he when he did this <laughs> she's wanting uh, to know if you've grown out of this <laughs> well i hope so <laughs> <laughs> if i could go back then definitely or if if you are one of my neighbors then definitely i would ask you to teach me how to do that <laughs> um he, Maybe I will not show you because it's <laughs> secret experiment. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah. You have to swear her to secrecy. Nobody can t know who taught you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, next is Halloween costume party. Have you attended, guys? Mm -hmm. um, Gladys? Um, I think, yeah, I have attended once. Um, it was... Uh, in my organization, um, we usually wear a few funny things, and because of this, one of my one of my friends actually wear something like um, I think she wear a charcoal, a whole charcoal in his body, and then uh, he tried to he tried to wear this red contacts. So I think everybody was spoke mm -hmm. with the costume it's one of the best the most cheapest the most affordable but one of the best but i can't i can't do that i, I might have a heart attack if i do that one that is look, um, looks really scary <laughs> because especially if it's dark yeah yeah actually the activity was uh, at night so everybody was we were surprised i can't tell you how surprised we were <laughs> Yeah, I think the kids are very excited wearing having or wearing their costume on Halloween. Mandy, does your girls like to wear costume on Halloween? Yeah, it's also been a little bit of costume controversy here in this house. So oh. originally, <laughs> the three of them were going to go as We Bear Bears, which is a, a television show. Um, one was going to be a panda, one was going to be a polar bear, and one was going to be a brown bear. And then the little one threw a, a wrench in the plans and said, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so the other two decided to go to a costume and do a pair costume. And so I am stuck with the little one doing a costume together. If she will wear it, we will see. Is it the elder one who changed her mind? No, no, the little uh, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the baby. She always oh. does that. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, so yeah. Chaser, 
Mm, we have a um, costume party to attend. Well, and uh, uh, literally, no, I've never attended, but um, but I've uh, I've attended one for my daughter, which was just last year. So it's like I I think that counts. I'm not sure if it's counted because mm -hmm. I have to be there with my daughter. And with regards to, I can relate what Mandy had mentioned that you still you have to you have to look after their costume, and it might be something like you have you have to. It's like you have to make them feel that they're very special and um, this costume fits them well. So what, what we did with the costume um, prior to the party, so we went to the shopping mall to buy, um, to buy some costumes. And unfortunately, those costumes doesn't fit well for my daughter. So I did a little bit of revision mm -hmm. of the length of the costume until so that she will not be stepping at the edge portion of her of her witch cost of her witch dress and the what hem he, yeah <laughs> yes the hem are you a seamstress the, can you sew no um it's i just made a basic stitching to to um <laughs> yes <laughs> so she will not be stepping on the hem hemline of her dress and we i registered her into a children's um party it's a children's um play place where in usually they're conducting a halloween party together with the um together with um other children so it was fun it was something memorable for my daughter i saw how excited she was there were games there were there were presentations and of course there are foods uh, which were designed into a halloween it's like a halloween uh, with with monsters and creepy things was the Halloween themed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, that is, um, if you have costume, what do you want to wear? Well, I was thinking about that question. <laughs> uh, I wanted okay. to wear... They wanted to make it um, more uh, appropriate or not appropriate because, you know, some costumes, <laughs> especially for the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking you know about <laughs> yeah about this one. Um, I was I, I was trying to ask if is this is is it only for the younger one? I think uh, it's also fun if we have um like an adult like us, right? So I was thinking if I would be given a chance, I would do something. I would do something weird as well. But this one will will feed my fantasy. I want to be a fairy. So I think I wanted to be a fairy. So yeah, one of the one of the kids here has something like that. Yeah. The pink one. So I want the pink, the tutu and mm. <laughs> yeah. Child at heart, maybe. Well, well, they sell think... adult costumes in the yeah. US. They are yeah. huge. Yeah. <laughs> Very Maddie, popular. I think it's not only for kids, especially no. in the club, they have a Halloween theme oh. party where you can wear mm -hmm. costumes. Costumes. Yeah, because I and, go to the club every Hollywood. weekend and I know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And even in the Hollywood, you know, celebrities, they are wearing, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, especially like the female rapper, they are very, um, I don't know if it's seducing or. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they wear seductive <laughs> outfits. <laughs> They're spending yeah. lots but of money for that. But correction for that, I don't want something like that. I want something I want something nice but not too not too So you want to be nice but not naughty. Yeah, I, no no no. I, I can't oh. be that one for my work. I can't no, be no, no. Okay, yeah. Mandy. Since you are the one who experienced this costume party, what was the most embarrassing Halloween costume you had? before <laughs> that I have ever had as a, in my entire life in your entire life I, I'm pretty old so I've had a lot of Halloween costumes <laughs> so which one is really you know very um, funny or I would have to say okay so I was in ballet um, when I lived in Oklahoma which is right above Texas most people don't know where Oklahoma is but it's right above Texas and I was in ballet and they had it was during the Halloween season and my mom made me go as big bird like the big <laughs> yellow bird it wasn't, yeah, we don't big bird. S it wasn't cute Street. at all <laughs> <laughs> and i think i ended up getting chicken pox because there was no chicken pox vaccine so i didn't even get to wear it <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, uh, what your friends told you did they laugh at you did they mock uh, you? uh it's so long ago like i said i'm pretty old i i don't remember all i know is that <laughs> I didn't like it and I don't like <laughs> yellow to this day. 
I mean, I love yellow on other people, but no, I don't want to have anything to do with Big Bird. <laughs> mm, yeah. And but for your kids, what kind of costume do you want to let them wear? Um, my middle one often designs their costume. So it's usually like a months long painful process for me um, of <laughs> mom, I think I need this and mom, I think I need that this, you know, these pieces and mom, does the sewing machine work? And mom, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, we're talking about almost to the level of cosplay. Have you heard of cosplay yeah. before? Mm -hmm. Like when people yes. go to Comic-Con or things like that, Anime. she almost takes it to that level. Level. <laughs> yeah. Wow. For me, I'm like, can I just wear a white shirt and call myself a ghost? That's good with me. <laughs> or put and just an put M. some little makeup. Yeah, like put an M and I'll be the red M&M or something. I don't know what. Um, but yeah, she's pretty intense. Although this year she toned it down so she could be with her sister. She wanted to originally, and she still is going to develop the costume, but she wants to make a pangolin costume. The animal, mm, the pangolin. Yeah, the, the one that, um, you know, can make him around his, himself. It curls up. It's very <laughs> yeah. adorable, very cute, but... It's very difficult to make a costume. Last year they made one that a, is scaly, right? It is scaly, yeah. That last year they made a dragon costume. <laughs> that was really complicated. Mm, yes, <laughs> it is very complicated. Let's just say it took eight months. Wow. <laughs> oh. Very competitive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Trick or treating. Well, Candice. Are you um, anyone excited for trick or treat or at least giving? Because if you're not a kid anymore, you're the one who's gonna give candies. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I could share this one because we have our convenience store at the at front at, in front of our house. So I think uh, one of the things that we can give to kids, although it's not too popular in the Philippines again, but um, yeah, we we seldom give out few candies, chocolates, or sometimes um, we also give a few, a few drinks. My mom used to leave. She's, she wants something like that. Chaser, um, does your daughter um, get a lot of um, chocolates or candies when you did that last, last year? Yes, sir. Absolutely. She received she receive a box of chocolates here in UAE. I think um the price of chocolates here is uh is some um, lower compared um compared in the Philippines I surmise. So um what we did is we went into our friend's uh, friend's apartment and um she collected like um what they did is uh they prepared a, a basket of chocolates and she just she did not wait for the for them for for she did not wait for them to give give to her she basically she literally <laughs> went um she literally got the basket and um slowly uh, started loading it in her you in helped her herself own <laughs> yes <laughs> yes so what did you tell um what did you tell her I wanted to stop her, but my <laughs> friends told me that just let her be a child. And what is very, what is funny is, um, the funny thing is, um, the next day, because of course we want, we don't want her to start eating them up until, especially at, we went home at night and she wants to start eating those chocolates and that will make, uh, that will make it hard for her to fall asleep. So what we did is, um, um, and when she fell asleep, we literally hid the basket and sh when she walked up, oh, <laughs> it's oh, like, it's the, Man, what is her was, age? <laughs> what is her age? This is, won't last she's, very long. <laughs> she's four years old. So okay. it's like, it's her, it's her life that, that basket, that, Precious yeah. basket of chocolate that was her read. life. I think yes. Mandy can relate. <laughs> mine, yes. mine are like, okay, um, nobody's touching my basket. Let me take an inventory and write it down of how many I have of each so I can make sure no one touches my candy. And I'll say, oh, you know, they're having like a candy drive at school where if you turn in, you know, candies and they'll mail them to the US troops or they'll mail them to, you know, kids in other countries that don't have as many candies. Do you want to donate? No. Why? Why would I give away my candy? I walked around and collected all this candy. <laughs> and I was like, 
maybe so your teeth don't fall out of your face. I don't know, you know, <laughs> so you don't have so much sugar. And they will yeah. sit there and bargain with one another about like, oh, I don't like this kind, but I like yours. So I'll give you two of these <laughs> for one of those. Yeah, it's all kinds of exchanges yeah. happening. <laughs> Maddie, just only to give us an idea, um, how does trick or treat, um, you know, do? How does it work? Uh, yeah, how does it work? Yeah, um, it just depends on what kind of area you're living in. So if you live in an area with like where there's homes on a street, um, you kind of, the littlest ones will usually start right after dinner before it gets too dark so that they don't have any danger around cars um, because, you know, they all run. <laughs> and you literally just go door to door. Yep. If a door, if a house's lights are off, you don't go there because that's their indication. Mm -hmm. Like we're not handing out candy. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't come here. Okay. And yeah, they zigzag across <laughs> the street, knock, say trick or treat and and get the candy. Uh, thanks for that idea. And also because they are kids, um, are the parents telling, uh, you can only go in this area and you cannot go far? Yeah, well, we have, I mean, we walk, I walk with mine. Um, mm. I know that. And then I also bring a bag with me because inevitably they will have to unload and <laughs> reload because it's, so some houses, like they say, they'll give one piece or two piece of those mini candies. And then you go to the house. There are houses that are known for giving out full size candy, like full size mm -hmm. bars and everyone will go to those. Mm -hmm. And then if you're the house that gives out a toothbrush or oh. like stickers, people are like, yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> let's skip that house. Um, so. Since you mentioned, Mandy, that mm, if they turn off the light, it's not uh, that's an indication that they are not going to participate. But how about they turn off the light, but they have a they have the decorations outside their house? Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's up to, you know, it's at their own discretion. You know, little kids like like Chaser's daughter age, they don't care. They go to every house because it's any opportunity to get candy. They will knock on the door um, or ring the doorbell. But um, yeah, usually if you don't want to hand out candy, you shouldn't put anything mm -hmm. in your yard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Gladys, Gladys, um, if you uh, if you ever will receive a chocolate, what kind of chocolate do you want to get? Oh, I, I'm I'm I love. Reef. You can you can say the brand. <laughs> I love Reef chocolate. Yeah. It's actually, yeah, yeah, I, oh. I I love it. Um, I think the peanut butter one. I'm I'm really into it. Any kind, I think I'm a really Filipino native because mm -hmm. we love peanut <laughs> butters. That's why we have our arthritis. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason. I, I, I Do love you like that the one. Reese's cups or the Reese's pieces? <laughs> um, I or all of it. <laughs> all of it. All of it. Um, the first time that I have encountered that when I was working in Singapore, I think uh, I fell in love with it. I don't know why. Uh, what's with it? I I had Cadbury. I had I have different types, even the local ones. It's nice, but there's something about pieces. I don't I don't know why. I even I even got my my I, my future daughter named after it. If ever she will be a girl, yeah. It's a nice that, name. Is that Reese Witherspoon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I've heard there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've there's a it. that's a really common name. Yeah, it's good. It's a good name. I love that one. No one tops that one. There's also me. a boy. There's also a boy version of it too. So if you have a boy, you can name him Reese. Oh, that's, that's a good tip. So there's no, there's no other chance that I can use that name. Okay. So, um, for Chaser, Chaser, um, is there an, um, another trick or treat happening with your, uh, with the school of your kid? Because, you know, well, pandemic. But last year was pandemic. Yes, yes. Um, well, for this year, because um, currently my children are in the Philippines. And um, uh, I think the way that they will be celebrating the trick or treat is not exactly like in, not exactly like in UAE. Um, we still had to, uh, we still celebrated the trick or treat here in UAE despite its pandemic because it's just um it's uh we went into apartments and um the gathering was um the gathering was just limited so it gave us um it they uh we still we were still able to celebrate it and in the Philippines now that um the the restrictions are a little bit um 
lesser. So uh, they will still be, they will be celebrating it in a way that they will be, um, uh, there's, from what I, from what I know is there will be a truck who will be distributing candies um, from in every barangays. And um, the children will just have to follow the track where it goes so that they can. And those people uh, that um, uh, they will, those uh, people riding in the track, they will literally throw candies in every, in every road that they will, um, they will pass by and the children will just, uh, they will just pick it up. So who gets the, Whoever gets the highest number of candies, then I guess that's the that's the luckiest one. Okay. And and I think my my mom in law and my my mom in law and my sister in law will help my children pretty much because they're good in <laughs> they're very supportive with those kinds of celebrations. Okay, so I will keep this question. Um, I want to and uh, I want Gladys and. Chaser to answer this because Mandy, I know you're familiar with this. You grow up with this. Um, for Chase, uh, for Gladys, Gladys, could you please tell us this on the pictures right now? These are the American slasher. Well, actually, it's not a scary movie, but somehow, because sometimes scary movies about ghosts, but um, this picture um, is all about uh, um, slashers. Um, Gladys, could you please name? Um, what movies you can see this um, characters? For as first one, the one with mass. Okay. Yeah. Um, Scream. This one is Scream. This was at my age. Uh, you need to mention <laughs> that correct title of the movie. Yeah, Scream. Uh, okay. Scream 1, That's... Scream what? 2. No, no, no. Not really. No, no. <laughs> no, you're correct. I, scream. I, and is this uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer? No, no, no. no. That's, no. You were correct with first one. That's Scream. And second. That's Scream. And then this second one is, Gosh. of course, Chucky. Well, Chucky, right? Movie title. What's the movie title? Uh, mm, Ch- Do you want me to message you? <laughs> I, I'm not, I you remember the bride one. The bride one. I, I remember the bride one. I'm not quite familiar with this okay, one. Sorry. So you missed this. Okay. And then next. Okay. The third one. Is this, is this uh, Freddy? No, I'm this afraid. one. The one with mask, white mask. Uh, uh, beside not... Chucky. Not mm. this cream. The next mm, one. No, you know no, him? no, no. I don't, don't know. know the movie. No, no, I don't okay. know. Okay, I think I, I asked the wrong person. Okay, let's move on to <laughs> yeah. Andy. Um, oh, maybe um, Chaser knows this movie. What's the title of this movie? Uh, the one Texas wearing Chainsaw mask. Massacre. No, no, no. The one wearing mask with. I don't want to mm. mention the name. Beside Chucky, the one wearing Harley? jacket. Charlie. <laughs> no. What movie is that? Well, um, I don't know. Uh, Halloween Fear no, Street. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. You don't know Mandy. Um, the next Elm, one. The Elm. one with Chainsaw. I, the I, I, yeah. The Texas Chainsaw, Chainsaw Massacre. Massacre. And yeah. then. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Gladys. Gladys. And then the one with Brain Face. And Black mm. Oh my god, I, I, I love movie? horror movies, but I, I don't recognize this. Uh, I don't goodness. recognize okay. this character. They need help. Um, yeah, I need help. <laughs> okay, need... do you want a character name? Um, the movie name. Okay, okay. Name? So, which we'll start Scream, Scream Child's yeah. Play. I, ch- yeah. um, I hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate all of these movies. <laughs> The next one, I believe, is Friday the 13th. Okay, ah. correct. Then you have Texas Chainsaw mm-hmm. Massacre. And, and then you then have next. Nightmare on Elm Street, Elm Street. which is, I, that's Freddy yes. Krueger. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then... Well, you shouldn't mention that because there's another one that's for, that's for Chaser. Anyway, that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't know. One. I thought I was going through all. The I don't last know the last one. one. I don't even oh, know the answer. you don't know. Okay, I will give the answer <laughs> because that's my favorite movie. It's Halloween. Oh. You know, oh, how Halloween appropriate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next question with Chaser. Chaser, uh, this guy, he don't have the number. Ah, hey, the name. Okay, what's the name of this screen face? The character name. Do you know, Mandy? Sorry, no. I have no idea. Uh, it's called Ghostface. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. Call it Ghostface. Go- Ghostface. <laughs> and then Ghostface. this doll, what is, what is his name? Chucky. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then the third one. Uh Friday the 13th, right? 
Mm-hmm. The very 90, normal 90. name. Yeah. Starts Super with what normal. letter? Starts with a J. J. What, what letter? Jerry. What is J? John? What's this? No. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Like this is harder than Jason. It's Jason. Yeah, it's Jason. Jason. Ah, Jason. Okay. Okay, for this, um, the one with um, chainsaw. What do you call I only him? know him as the chainsaw mask. No, no, he has oh, name. Man. How about you, Chase? Or you don't know, uh, Mandy? It's, you know, is this Leatherface? Yes, correct. You're oh. correct. Uh, <laughs> and then you mentioned the one with burnt face. It's Freddy. Freddy. Freddy Krueger. And then the last one, the white mm. man. For mm. sure, Mandy, you know this. But you're not a fan. <laughs> You don't know Chaser and Mandy? I know who the actor is. But no. the character, but the character. Name, it's uh, Michael Myers. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Mike Myers is hilarious. You Mike know, Bill Myers. and Ted. Yeah. <laughs> Not Bill and Ted, I'm sorry. Um, shoot, Mark, Mike Myers. But who is the character? Uh, I I think that's that's what they call him. Oh, Mike Michael Myers. Myers. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Okay. And then there's gonna be another movie with that, and then the original cast like. Three names. There's gonna be like a remake or a remake. like a, a last sequel? 2018. Yeah, last 2018 they do, they did, and then this Halloween they have another movie. Add uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, the original. <laughs> You know her. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that in the news. Yep. So, yeah. who among is them Netflix? is your favorite? No, no that's one. a movie. <laughs> New release movie. It's in theater. Okay. okay. What's your uh, who? Who of them is your favorite, or which movie you don't like? Maybe Mandy. I would go for Scream. I think it's the nicest one to look here, from here. They are all brutal. Uh, how about you, Chaser? <laughs> For me, the list that I like in this, in among them, is the Texas Chainsaw because the killing is really brutal. So, so, and I've watched that movie, honest, uh, to be honest. So, um, I even closed my eyes for um with those scenes that he tried to uh, kill this person in a brutal way. So, I can't get enough, or I cannot, I can't get rid of that scene. <laughs> Okay, for it's my, forever for, burned in your memory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since you mentioned Mandy earlier, you hate Chucky. Why you hate Chucky? So there was an incident with Chucky. Um, so when I was growing up, I'll tell you my age is going to change soon. Um, but yeah, I had a doll called um, Cricket, and she's the kind of doll that you would put a cassette tape in the back of her, and she would talk, and her eyes would move, and she was cute until. My friend had a birthday party and they showed Chucky at the birthday party. And I was in grade three. So I was eight or nine years old and I only saw a portion of Chucky. And then I could not look at my doll the same way ever again. I actually had to get rid of her. Um, Have you checked because the battery? <laughs> I, I removed the batteries, I removed the tape, and then my brother would prank me and put batteries back in and put a Michael Jackson tape inside and turn it on and scare me to death. <laughs> so, so yeah. the good guy doll is really, you know, they're selling good guy doll, Chucky, back in that those years. Okay. It was just a doll that wasn't, it was a similar, like they would call it, you know, like, um, they had one called Big Brother and, you know, or Kid Sister. Um, and I even remember the tune in my head. Like, it's an advertisement. They're like, Kid Sister, Kid Sister, you know. Anyway, but you could put music, like an old cassette tape in the back of them, mm-hmm. close it, and then they would sing, you know, with the music. And, yeah, every night in my room, she would just have her eyes open looking at me. <laughs> and I was like, no, she's going to come alive and ch- go Chucky on me. So I had to get rid of her. <laughs> When I saw that movie, like, you know, the old movies, the part one and part two, I was thinking there's a real, um, Chucky, Good Guy Doll is really on the market because the production was really, you know, a lot. You yeah. know, you can see in the, fa- in the factory. So. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, what's your favorite movie, guys? 
A scary from movie. This, um, not from mm, this. Not from this. Okay, I think I would go for it. <gasps> I, I, I would go for it. The clown yeah, the in clown. the gutter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think it's quite memorable for me because when I watch it, I I I I hard I I find hard I find it hard for me to look at the regular drainage anymore <laughs> because of that one. You run to the other side. <laughs> but but when I when I saw that movie, I I when when the second part was actually released, I actually looked for it and I tried to watch it. But I I'm a kind of I love movies. That's why I. When I watch the second one, I I rewatch the the first one first, so I can have this feeling of continuity. But if if you're going to ask me which is the most memorable for me, I guess I could share. This is true. Uh, um, I could share the uh, what do That's you call movie. that movie? I forgot already. No. Um, Exorcist. Exorcist. Uh, Exorcist. Yeah, I think that the part I, I tried to watch I, when I was in college, there was this DVDs in the Philippines, right? We we usually buy the DVDs that has a lot of different scary movies. And I, I think I was I was um I was brave enough to watch all of them in I think in one sitting. And then the the, oh. the next the next night that I, I go to bed, I remember the part two of Exorcist. That I wasn't able to move my a muscle. I, I think I got exorcist, something like that. So <laughs> from there on, I I throw the I throw the CD. I don't I don't care anymore, and I don't want to see any title that has exorcist there. So I think I will not rewatch anything yeah, like that. But there's a lot of version of exorcist like Emily Rose. Yeah. Yes. 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 Connecticut. Yeah. Um, Chaser, what's your favorite scary movie? Well. I'm. I don't think it's it's a it's some it is a scary, but this movie usually um comes, or it usually um yeah it usually comes in the during Halloween. This uh, Halloween uh, special. Yes. The, no. It's um it's Hotel Transylvania. Mm, that's so <laughs> <It's>, cute. <laughs> yes. <yeah. laughs> okay. Yes. Now I feel better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm very fond of um animated movies. It makes me feel better. It's a um, it's for children. They say, but um, I feel like uh, if I feel like when I watch this kind of movies, it makes me feel better. It makes me relax. So this story is about Dracula, but the Dracula mm-hmm. in a nice way. Um, the Dracula that we know in books is is something. He is something that is. Uh, he's uh, scary. He, he drinks. Yes, he's he scary. <laughs> he sucks blood. But with this Dracula, this Dracula in this movie, he is um, he's a good father, and he loves so much his daughter that he's willing to accept um the love of of her daughters, the love of. Of, of her daughter which is a human being and eventually he accepted this guy and um he is actually uh and one one funny thing in this movie is his mansion he's using his mansion as a hotel for different um halloween uh halloween's uh, characters so he usually hold um hold celebrations or parties in his mansion and um it's it's pretty amazing to see that, that um this scary dracula that we know is they had turned it into a funny and loving father so <laughs> yes okay we know I've that the, yes oh, nice. i've watched the three sequel of this um of this uh, hotel transylvania so it's it's great <laughs> okay <laughs> that's not scary so i want to hear something scary from mandy I mean, I alluded to it at the beginning. It's the ring. It's the ring. Oh. <laughs> it's, okay. I can't be near a television at night because she might crawl out of it. Yeah. How about someone will call you on the phone? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. No. I don't understand some people love some um, scary movie, but when they play it or watch it, they just going to close eyes. <laughs> I know, love it. And I'm it. one of them. It's torture. It's torture. <laughs> I'm one and of them so, as well. And sometimes I think they're just taking advantage with their partner, like the guy. <laughs> the yes no. Here, come a little closer. <laughs> <You're> scared. <laughs> 
So you're not uh, you're like that. Um glad is that you or Chase? Actually, I think that's a question earlier, right? When mm. I was uh, when I, when I was uh not yet in the podcast, but I, actually I'm one of those um I have a funny thing that happened to me when I was with my friends and we share seats. So um, I'm with my girls, my girlfriends, and then the other guys are on the other side. And before anything goes on the screen, I literally shouted so loud that when the, the scene happened, every person in that row was actually looking at me. And I, ca- I have to wait for them to go outside because I can't even show my face <laughs> because everybody... <laughs> I, I That's can't. why I love wearing masks nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> you will, you will not yeah. I think I hope I, I wish that time we I have my mask on, but I, I I cannot even put words onto it. It's so embarrassing. And I think for me that movie, I I can't even remember if I, I literally understood the movie. I just I, I have this thing on my mind that I'm I'm so embarrassed. Okay, Mandy, I have to apologize, sorry. But, you know, this is not stage, but you already mentioned this. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> I made this earlier, though. No, you didn't consult me. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I just heard it. I'm having right a now. literal physical reaction right now. <laughs> I'm oh so sorry. God. Okay, I will remove oh this. But, no <laughs> Know her name and the character in Sadako. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is I think this is why it's hollow. Yeah, okay. disturbing. So I'm I'm believe- grown up now. I can handle it. Yeah. Okay. The question is, do you believe in ghosts? My not sister ghost, has like, my sister not has the ghost hair. in the past. Okay, <laughs> because there's so many ghosts. In the past. My, ghost. my younger my younger sister has that color hair, and she will come out of the shower like if I'm near her, and she will walk like that and be like, "Mandy," and I'm like, "Get away!" You know. <laughs> so it's just frightening. Yeah. Okay. Um, Chaser, do you believe in ghosts? Do you have an experience? Yes, I believe in ghosts. They say that to see is to believe, and I had seen a ghost. Well, but however, that was um that was ten years ago when I was um that oh, that was ten years ago, and they say that young people most often see ghosts rather than adult. So, and they said that when you're young, your third eye is open. And I pretty much believe that because when I was young, I keep on seeing ghosts. Only when when uh, when and when I was young, but these days that now that I'm old enough, I don't see I don't see anything. Not even if I try to scare myself, I cannot even I don't see any ghost at all. So I think it's also part of the imagination as a kid, because um we have white imaginations when we were kid. I can even I I do also even imagine that that Dragon shadow Mary. will turn into something that shadow um that shadow will turn into a monster uh, at the middle of the night. So that was um that contributed a lot when I was a kid believing that there is really a ghost. Okay, for that is do you believe in ghosts and do you have an experience? Because later I'm gonna share my experience. <laughs> Okay, I think I will be the, I will be on the contrary of this one because um, I haven't experienced any anything that's scary. <laughs> yeah, anything scary or anything close to what Chaser had uh, told us. But I can maybe I can have this story. A friend of mine actually, when we are in the ward before, when we are in I think fourth year college. Um, she usually avoid the isolation room. I d- we don't know why. We didn't know why. But uh, she's not telling us anything about it. She's, she just kept her mouth shut. And then after the, the rotation of the duty, when we got out from that particular department or area, um, then she told us the, the things that she is seeing every time that she's passing through that isolation room and she's a dear friend of mine so i th- i don't i don't see any reason why she will make up stories and she didn't even tell us 
on that at the moment that uh, she experienced it because she know that we might get scared about the the area. So for me personally, I do not believe because I haven't experienced, but I I'm not wishing to experience as well. <laughs> but um, I think I I don't have my personal opinion on this one. But uh, uh yeah. I, but I I, be, I respect other people's so opinion on this one. But for me, not so, not so. <laughs> Mandy, do you, do you experience any insidious uh, experiences? Oh my gosh. Have I had any insidious experiences <laughs> with supernatural items, uh, supernatural beings? No, I haven't had any ghost experiences. I have tried to watch like those ghost hunter shows or things like that, just to see what other people might be seeing, um, you know, to try to understand. But like, you know, exactly like Gladys said, you know, I respect other people's feelings on ghosts and aliens and other things, you know, but I haven't personally experienced it. So I'd say, yeah, it's not something that's in my area of expertise. <laughs> I will say when Chaser said, the ex no, Gladys mentioned the exorcist, right? Mm -hmm. um, those kinds of things where people have been possessed or stuff like that, to me, that's just is too real. And I can't, I can't watch that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Me also, I don't believe with ghosts, but I have an experience, something crazy because, you know, as a nurse, there's a lot of um, scary experience in the hospital. So when I, back in the Philippines, I had a solo duty on fourth floor. I'm just alone and then I'm using laptop and there's someone sent a link and then I clicked it. <laughs> um, there's, uh, it's a picture yeah. of a dead person, like literally the face, you know, inside the coffin. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I try to, you know, close and it's not working. So I just run. <laughs> it's really hard oh, if you're alone because you're gonna get crazy when you're thinking about- Yeah, yeah you your imagination about... runs away. Like, yeah. yeah. Oof. And I, so, I honestly, yeah, when I was younger, I think I had to, one of my grandfathers passed away and I was younger and my, my, my parents made me go towards his casket open. Mm -hmm. And it was just a traumatizing experience because it didn't look like him at all with all that makeup on, you know, that the morticians use. And to this day, like if someone is going to pass away or I'm going to be at a funeral, I'm sorry, I'm not going to your casket. Sorry. <laughs> I'll wave goodbye from the back row. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> yeah, I think we're almost done with our session. So that's for our episode for tonight. Um, wait, I'm just going to share this, especially for those who are a fan of this. <laughs> the fan of... <laughs> no, oh. don't share that scary picture. <laughs> no. So that's way too big. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good replacement with a plain gray background. No, you can you can put the yeah. uh, you can put the ring <laughs> picture back up there. I just need to okay. train myself to get so, used yeah. to it. This is more scary to me right now. So <laughs> no, really, you look young here. I like Thank you. Hair. I like the hair. I've always wanted to have a curly hair. One. How about the eyes? <laughs> anyway, I will yeah. say oh. that yeah, the hair is um, thanks to this so shampoo nice. that I found from Canada. <laughs> so. Can you can you tell me what? <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you. I'll send you a link. <laughs> okay. So guys, okay. for those who are watching on Zoom and and on on Facebook, uh, just follow or like my English with Mandy and Yumiko, and they have. Uh, weekly, I mean, they have still weekly session on YouTube. Yeah, I do. I, actually, I'm supposed to do it tonight. Um, I do a live lesson on YouTube. Occasionally, I'll have people join me on Zoom, but we'll see. Um, yeah, and we just talk about IELTS-related topics, yeah, questions. I think tonight is, I can't remember what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So, yeah. I hope everyone um, enjoyed. Thank you so much for Chaser and Gladys for jumping in. Oh, yes. And Lucas is saying thank happy belated much. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you, uh, thank you, Lucas. And then he's very active. Um, well, beautiful. So I'm going to invite you next time for another session. So don't be shy. This is just only a conversational, friendly talk and about your experience and future plans. So yeah. 
thank you and have a good night and enjoy the Halloween next week. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, thank everyone. You. Bye. Bye, Bye sir. Bye, Chaser. Bye. Bye, Gladys.